Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and sulphur have all been seen in the darkest depths of a molecular cloud about 630 light years away. This is exciting because these elements, which we collectively refer to as chons, are essential building blocks for habitable planets. They're needed to construct the most important ingredients for atmospheres, and they also make up essential things like amino acids, sugars and alcohol. This cloud, delightfully named Chameleon One, is pictured here as a ghostly blue glow against the dark background. It's gorgeously resolved, looks incredibly textured and smoky, and has all the awesome details of a great JWST image. It has a dramatic landscape of gas, dust and ice, and also shows off bright foreground stars down here. This double is actually two stars, giving off two sets of diffraction spikes. And the fourth bright star down here is actually lurking behind the cloud. This makes it look paler in colour and we also see it illuminating the cloud itself. The numerous orange dots throughout the cloud are more distant stars behind it and they played an important role in identifying the elements in the cloud. And we'll get to that in just a moment. The image also features many tasty background galaxies in the far distance. Even these faint objects are incredibly well resolved in JWST images and they're super fun to try and spot. It's amazing to think that while each orange dot here is a star, each of these galaxies is an island of billions of stars that are millions of light years from us. Other interesting features include this region here, which shows a protostar. That's a star still forming from a collapsing cloud of dust and gas. And the infrared radiation coming from this fledgling star is illuminating a lot of the gas nearby. This isn't the first time that JWST has imaged a protostar. And if you want to see an in-depth discussion of the very first one, check out this video right here on the channel. This new protostar though is called CED 110 IRS4. Catchy, right? I also think that just here, we might be able to see a gravitationally lensed galaxy. It has the right arc shape that normally comes about as a result of something huge between us and it warping its light. That's not confirmed by the JWS team though yet at this stage, so let me know your thoughts on what it might be in the comments below. The image we've been looking at is from JWST's near-infrared camera NERCAM, but we also got spectroscopy from the near-infrared spectrograph NERSPEC and from the mid-infrared instrument MIRI. And this is what revealed to us the icy forms of the key Chong's elements we mentioned earlier. The Ice Age project that this image comes from used background stars. In fact, these two labeled here in particular, the ones with the funny names. And they looked at which wavelengths of light were missing from the spectra of these stars. As the light from those stars passed through the cloud, the elements in the cloud will have absorbed specific wavelengths of light. And those wavelengths told the team exactly what elements make up this ghostly image. The result is an in-depth inventory of the deepest, coldest ices ever measured in a molecular cloud like this. In the spectra shown here, we see the brightness of different wavelengths of light received from those background stars. And the positions of the dips tell us the missing wavelengths, and hence tells us the elements and molecules present as well as simple ices like ordinary water. The team also identified the frozen forms of many interesting and complex molecules, including carbonyl, sulfide, ammonia, and methane. If you're wondering exactly what a complex molecule is, it's just defined here to be anything made of six or more atoms. This is an incredible list of ingredients that will go on to form future stars and exoplanets and contain the elements that would be needed to make life, if that life was similar to us. In the mid-infrared wavelengths shown here, there was also evidence of even more complex molecules, some of which are listed on the plot. It wasn't possible to definitively attribute each dip to specific molecules, but even so, this is the first ever detection of complex molecules in the icy depths of a molecular cloud before it births stars. Observations of this quality would not be possible without the impressive instrument that is JWST. These molecules might one day be delivered to the surface of terrestrial planets or become part of the atmosphere of a Jupiter-like gas giant. And all of that is amazing to think about for me. I mean, we'll all be long gone by the time that happens, but still, it's kind of fun. Before I go, I just wanted to highlight some incredible images from the FANGS team on Twitter. This one is probably my favourite. 
just because those colors are so awesome and the structure and details we can see is so cool. Damn, space is so fun and so pretty. Remember to give me your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.